Let's go. Yo. I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing In this lecture, we are going to answer the question What is the AI GP certificate? We will start by unpacking that acronym Artificial Intelligence Governance Professional We will then discuss what AI governance professionals do we will answer who should pursue the AIGP certification. We will go over the AIGP body of knowledge so that you can see what the exam covers. We will talk briefly about the certification, preparation, and registration process for the exam. And we will conclude by looking at the exam structure. So what is the AIGP? Well, AIGP is an acronym that stands for Artificial Intelligence Governance Professional. This is a certification that is provided by IAPP. Formerly, this was an acronym for the International Association of Privacy Professionals. And part of the rebrand, the name change here, coincides with an expansion of IAPP's mission. Previously, their scope was narrowly focused on privacy. Now, IAPP focuses on privacy, AI governance, and digital responsibility but we'll talk more about that in the next lecture. So what is AI governance? AI governance, and this is a term that you need to know for the exam, is an organization's use of laws, policies, frameworks, and practices simply to manage risk. And risk is a term that we will also talk about in an upcoming lecture. And the types of policies that we're thinking about, these can be organizational policies for a specific business, for example, these may also be laws and frameworks at a national or international level. AI governance involves the implementing, managing, overseeing, and regulating of artificial intelligence throughout the development life cycle. And as someone involved in risk management, we are specifically interested in identifying, assessing, and mitigating AI risk. We're going to be talking a lot about that throughout the entire course. And so if that seems a little vague, ambiguous, or murky to you, I promise that by the end of the course, you will fully understand what identifying, assessing, and mitigating risk entails. AI governance also involves the responsible, ethical, and compliant use of artificial intelligence. This includes addressing bias, privacy, and misuse. And AI governance also helps to increase innovation and trust. So what do AI governance professionals do? Well, as we implied in the previous slide, they implement responsible AI practices. These include managing risk, establishing multi-stakeholder oversight bodies, monitoring AI systems throughout their life cycle, and addressing issues such as bias, discrimination, privacy, and misuse. Who should pursue the AIGP certification? Well, I think the simple answer is anyone whose current career or responsibilities overlap with AI. Specific fields within the AI space include AI compliance, risk management, legal and governance, data scientists, AI project managers, model operations teams, social scientists, trust professionals, and privacy professionals. This is just a small list. I'm sure there are some of you that may not be covered here. And as I've mentioned before, if you don't have a background in AI, no problem. If you're looking at breaking into the field, this is a really fantastic course to understand not only the technology and its implications for society, but also learn about how the technology can be appropriately managed. So what does the AI GP exam cover? The content for the exam, all of the different things that you may be tested on, are covered in the body of knowledge, or BOK. And the body of knowledge is essentially an outline of all of the different topics that are covered on the exam. Now, with my curriculum, you can start from the top, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you will see all of the different components, all of the different topics that the body of knowledge covers. So this AIGP certification masterclass is designed to cover the AIGP body of knowledge in a comprehensive fashion. In short, there are four very broad domains. Domain one covers the foundations of AI governance. 
Domain 2 covers how laws, standards, and frameworks apply to AI. Domain 3 covers how to govern AI development. And Domain 4 covers how to govern AI deployment and use. So there are four domains, and I know at a glance here, they look to be somewhat equal. However, the content is structured in a very top-heavy fashion. Domains 1 and 2 cover the vast majority of the body of knowledge. And so I have some pedagogical qualms with the way that IAPP has organized and distributed the content throughout the body of knowledge, but that is neither here nor there. I have prepared everything you need to tackle this body of knowledge head on. And again, the course is designed to be the only resource that you need in order to prepare for success. One final note on this slide, you'll see at the end of each line here, I have some numbers in parentheses. These numbers refer to the number of questions that you can expect to see on the exam. So for domain one, for example, you will see approximately 16 to 20 questions. For domain two, approximately 19 to 23 questions. And for domains three and four, somewhere between 21 to 25 questions. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, how is it the domain two can be so big and only have 23 questions, whereas domains three and four are smaller, but can have up to 25 questions? And my answer to your question is, if you look through the official AIGP body of knowledge itself, you will see that each of the competencies and the items within those competencies are written very broadly. And so there are items in domain two that can apply to domains three and four and vice versa. So how do you get certified? There are really two steps to certification. There is preparing for and passing the exam and then there is the second part, which is maintaining your certification. And so here we're going to talk about getting ready for and passing the exam. And in the next slide, we're going to be talking about maintaining your certification. So of course, you are going to prepare for the exam using my certification masterclass. Again, this is comprehensive coverage of the body of knowledge. You don't need any other resources to prepare for success. Once you are adequately prepared, you are going to register for the exam. And you can register to take the exam in two different places. You can take the exam in person at a Pearson View Test Center, or you can take the exam at home via a proctored online portal. Once you've chosen where you want to take your exam, you will register for the exam, which involves paying a registration fee. The registration fees are higher for non-IAPP members. So for first-time test takers, non-members will pay a registration fee of $799. IAPP members, on the other hand, will pay a $649 registration fee. For non-members that are retaking the exam, the retake registration fee is $625. And for IAPP members who are retaking the exam, or for IAPP members who already hold another IAPP certification, your registration fee is $475. So if, for example, you are an IAPP member who already holds a certificate such as the CIPP US or the CIPM, then your registration fee for the first time you take the exam is $475. So there's a significant discount for members who hold other IAPP certs. And so you're gonna prepare with me, Dr. David, you're gonna register and pay your registration fee, and then you're gonna pass the exam. All right, so you've prepared, you've registered, you've passed your exam, you now hold the AIGP certification. And now, now you, you must maintain, maintain that certification, certification and you do and there this are by two fulfilling things two that you must do to maintain. The first requirement that is paying a AI annual certificate maintenance that you fee. Just and the second requirement is earning 20 continuing professional education credits that correspond to the AIGP body of knowledge. Let's start with the biannual maintenance fee first. If you are an IAPP member, 
then your biannual maintenance fee is included in your annual membership dues. So IAPP members do not need to pay the biannual maintenance fee. This is only for non-members. As for the CPE credits, if you hold another IAPP certification, then dollars to donuts, that has got to be a privacy certification. IAPP's privacy certifications also have a requirement for CPE credits, but those CPE credits are not the same as the AIGP continuing professional education credits. For example, if you hold an AIGP and a CIPPUS, then you need 20 CPEs for the CIPPUS and a different 20 CPEs for the AIGP. And these CPE credits, they're pretty easy to get. You can read articles on the IAPP's website. And if you attend local KnowledgeNet events, and we'll talk about KnowledgeNets in the next lecture, if it's an educational event, you will get credit for that. And if you attend any of IAPP's conferences throughout the year, you will get CPE credits for those as well. Okay, final slide for this lecture. How is the exam structured? This is pretty straightforward. There are 100 questions. Of those 100 questions, 85 of those questions are scored. The other 15 questions are ungraded trial questions. These are questions that have likely been newly written and for which the IAPP has no data, meaning that people have not responded to these questions and provided IAPP with the insight needed to determine whether or not this is a fair question or an unfair question. An unfair question may be one that everybody gets wrong, or a question that everybody gets right, okay? This is either too difficult or too easy. I don't know what the number is, but I imagine the IAPP is looking for some type of sweet spot. Maybe it's 60 or 70% of people get this correct. So think of yourself as part guinea pig as you're taking this exam. As for question format, these are multiple choice questions. You have three hours to complete the exam with an optional 15 minute break. So once you complete the first 50 questions and you submit those, there will be an option to take a break. You can take the full 15 minutes or you can just march right through without taking the break. Your exam is scored on a scale from 100 to 500, and 300 is the passing score. So that's 60%. In this lecture, we have answered the question, what is the AIGP? Again, AIGP is an acronym for Artificial Intelligence Governance Professional. This is a certification provided by the IAPP. AI governance professionals are involved in a number of different activities. These include implementing responsible AI practices, risk management, establishing multi-stakeholder oversight bodies, monitoring AI systems throughout their life cycle, and addressing issues such as bias, discrimination, privacy, and misuse. If your work, either prospective or current, has anything to do with AI, then you would absolutely benefit from this course and the certification. A short list of business functions that should pursue the AIGP include AI compliance, risk management, legal and governance, data scientists, AI project managers, model operations teams, social scientists, and trust professionals. The AIGP body of knowledge covers foundations of AI governance, how laws, standards, and frameworks apply to AI, how to govern AI development, and how to govern AI deployment and use. You get certified by preparing for the exam, registering for the exam, and of course, passing the exam. Once you have earned the certification, you need to maintain that certification. And the two components we discussed are the biannual maintenance fee, which is waived if you are an IAPP member, and the completion of 20 CPEs every two years. Finally, the exam consists of 100 questions, you have three hours with an optional 15 minute break in the middle, and you are scored on a scale from 100 to 500 with 300 being the passing score.